Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Henry Brewington, CEO of Team One Money. And I just got to keep it real with y'all on some, on some things. Like, you know, I make up... You know, it's, it's the most stupidest BS that ever, ha that ever happened. And to all the Wake Up Now, you know, representers, this might be the most stupidest BS maybe you ever heard, too. Or something. it may have happened to you. I'm not sure. But... You know, I, I go, I go, I make up my video. I have my wake up now card, as you can see. I take a hundred dollars out. I mean, I only took a hundred dollars out because I really don't like having a lot of money on me. But I, I did it just to be able to show you that this money is real. And you know, I'm a founder three. I make six hundred dollars a month, and someone has the nerve to tell me that, oh, I know that you're a real smart guy. That shit ain't real. You just rigged the ATM machine. <laughs> I rigged the ATM machine, people. How stupid does that sound? If it and even if I did rig the ATM machine, don't you think I would have took out at least a lot more than just a hundred dollars out? And even if I knew. How to? Why the hell would I want to do that in the first place? I am not going to jail. I'm not about that life. I'm not getting raped. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, this, oh my goodness. Like, I, I don't I don't understand. I don't I do not understand the stupidity. I thought I thought I thought I oh my goodness. The the level the levels to stupidity is just increasing. I th I think I think it's because of Vine, but I, I don't know. Like I'm gonna just lay I'm gonna just lay something to you. Like hear me out. You see, Steve Jobs says that we made we make society and the way how the Earth is because of us. You know we we you know us you know we make society and the Earth the way how it is now. You know so you know it doesn't matter who you are. So you know. Steve Jobs is just a person just like us. And he had a vision. He had a vision and he wanted to make it into reality. And we can do the same as that thing. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg had a vision for Facebook. And now it's a big impact to society. We can't, most of, most of us can't go a day without being on Facebook. Most of us can't go a day without being on an iPhone or for Google or for Google uh Androids or watching TV or being on this computer. Like back in the day, like back in the day, this was this was crazy to people. Like for our grandparents and, and for some of our parents, this was crazy to people, y'all. Like we take like this is a big impact on our lives now. This computer, like back in the day, computers was big as a wall. Now we could do everything that that big computer did, plus more in this little laptop, or this or this iPhone or whatever that you're using right now to see this video right now. It was crazy to people. They thought that this was impossible. This was never gonna happen. And you know, like. You know, like all these for all these people, they had a vision. They were open minded. They weren't closed minded. They didn't want to be just satisfied what what they could do now. They wanted to be satisfied. You know, they didn't want to just be satisfied at all. They wanted to make a big impact in their lives and for other people's lives at the same exact time. And that and you know that's the same thing when it comes to wake up now. Like, you know, they you know, you see all these impacts on all the technology, the internet, and all and all of this. I mean, you got real hardworking people out there that's doing physical labor or making minimum wage. And, you know, wake up now wanted to wanted to take it, you know, they, they had a vision about wanting to save money. Manage money and make money. Didn't matter who you were, but you could do it. And you could and, and wake up now made it a way. They made it a possibility. All you had to do was just put in the work and see the vision. And not be closed minded. You see, you know, you know, and you know, instead of doing a whole bunch of physical labor, you know, we go on the internet or we go on 
whatever, we share the opportunity and share the blessing with everybody else. That's exactly what it is. And you can't do this, and you don't do this alone. Because not only are you saving money and making money yourself, but you're also helping others doing the same exact thing. And that's the only way how you can make money. Come on, y'all. Like, this is... This is this this company is going to be an iconic company. This company maybe has no more than maybe 75,000 or so members right now, maybe 90,000 over the, you know, over the years now. And, you know, I'm I I don't know how many people there are maybe in South Carolina right now doing this. I might be the only founder three right now in South Carolina. That just shows progress, people. And, you know, there's millions of people, millions of people that still don't know about this. And who doesn't want to save money, manage money, and make money, y'all? And and not because it's making money, but it's residual income. And they made it a possibility. It's up to you as society to approve it or think that we're fucking crazy. And mind my language on that one. So, you know, like, like I said, y'all, like, stop being closed-minded. Stop being just, you know... Society and the way how the earth is, it all revolves on us, on how we make it. It's rather we're going to keep letting people, you know, go into McDonald's and, you know, and uh, work there or get just get paid 10 to $15 an hour or actually make a difference by not just helping ourselves, but helping other people doing the same thing. Saving money, managing money, and making money. Making residual income. I rigged the fucking ATM machine. Wake up, people. Henry Bruinton.